So let's talk about feeling for a minute in this video. Feeling is a powerful concept. It was presented to me originally by a teacher a long time ago who said, Brian, you're so in your head, you can't feel much. You're, you're completely walled off your emotions and you're super analytical and this is why people can't connect to you. And that's kind of largely why I do what I do today. It was this idea that I just really couldn't relate to other people because I didn't have good connection to my emotions. I, I couldn't, you know, if, if I got embarrassed, I didn't let a girl see me. If I felt nervous, I wouldn't let her see me. I just walled off, went to my head and analyzed everything and talked analytically. Now think about guys that are really good with women. They don't do that. When they get in front of women, they push in and step into the tension. They get excited and turned on and they let the girl see them. Or they get nervous and bashful and they look down or they get angry and they're like, yeah, fuck yeah, and that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna, you know, you think about the jocks, they got a lot of emotion. You think about artists, they get on stage, and musicians, they got a lot of emotions, a lot of depth of feeling. And I wanna ask you, do you have feeling in your life? Do you have depth of feeling? Do you have access to your emotions and your feelings? This is a huge key. In last week's video, on last Sunday's video, I talked about reaching a point where you're indifferent to outcome or you're free through your releasing and revealing. And when you reach this point where you're totally free uh, from outcome, when you reach this point where you're like, I'm gonna be happy no matter, or I'm gonna feel good, or I'm gonna feel my emotions, feel my body, and, and like what I'm feeling, even if I'm angry, I'm like, yeah, this is my anger, it's okay. And I'm gonna reach that point where I don't need her to like me back to feel that way. I don't need that girl over there to have a great conversation for me to feel good about myself. I'm free from outcome. Matter of fact, I can sit here and enjoy her sitting here. I, and if I walk up and say hi and I get scared and I get nervous and it doesn't go well and I say all the wrong things, I can sit down and release again and like myself and still be happy. That's the key. Because when you reach that stage where you can do that, then you start to go into more feeling. You start to have more feeling in your body. You start to flow with more feeling in your body because you're no longer worried about what the other person thinks of you. The lack of feeling comes from this worry about what the other person thinks of you. So as you start to really enjoy yourself, uh, even in the face of rejection, that's when you become more attractive because now I can start to practice relaxing and feeling into my heart, which a lot of emotions actually come from feeling this area of the body right here. And as I learn to relax and feel this area of the body, we do a lot of movement work, but yoga is meant for this. Um, you just literally move in your chest and exploring this area, you can start to feel the vulnerability that's there. You know, we have lots of videos, we talk about that. I'm gonna talk more about the concepts today, maybe next week we, we, or, or down the road. I don't know about next week, we can get into some exercises. Another one is turn on. Do you actually feel comfortable feeling your turn on? Do you let women see you feel your turn on? Do you actually get embarrassed seeing your turn on when you when you get and, and own it and be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm embarrassed, so what? You know, let's fucking get down, get bashful. You know, uh, when you approach women, are you comfortable approaching women even though you're nervous? Like there's this sense that, oh wow, I'm really nervous. And so many guys wanna get rid of that nervousness before they approach. And I would say approach with the nervousness and own it and be like, yeah, I'm nervous, but it doesn't matter because I love myself either way. I can be nervous in front of you and still like myself. So therefore I'm free. And that's another powerful way of being. So I wanna invite you to think about all these different ways of being. Can you own your nervousness? Because that's what a lot of approach anxiety is. You guys are getting nervous, you're getting scared, and you're trying to hide it from the girls. Guys that are like, I'm nervous and I'm scared, and I'm gonna go let her see it. I'm gonna own it. I'm not only gonna let her see it, I'm gonna sit right in the tension of it and, let, and own it with her. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm nervous. You make me nervous. That's your fault and relax, maybe turn a little red, blush a little bit. Now that's a sexy guy. And then you can step into the tension more and you can amp it up and then you can get nervous again and step back and you can giggle a little bit and you can play and you can dance. That's where real good conversation is had. That's where fun conversation is had. And that's what we call being in feeling. Even grounding has a feeling to it. We talk about being grounded being down in your legs, feeling the earth beneath you, feeling your body relax into this chair right here, feeling my belly stick out and relaxing, feeling my ass relax, feeling my legs on the ground. There's a sense that I'm comfortable in my own body when I'm like that. The sense that my heart is open. There's a sense that of vulnerability in that and realness. And when I say hi like that, it's totally different. If I say hi with my heart open, feeling my body, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? 
there's just big energy to it. Or if I get nervous and I look at a girl and I blush a little bit and I go down inside and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And there's this, like a little bit of nervousness on me. She can feel that too. And the key is as we go more into feeling to own that nervousness, to be proactive with it, not reactive. Because true confidence, and I want to point this out, true confidence is the ability to be solid in what you're feeling and not apologize for it. It's not the putting up a fake wall and pretending I don't have any feelings and saying, yeah, I'm being confident. Yeah, you don't bother me. Yeah, I'm solid. I'm good. Oh, that doesn't bother me. That's, that's, that's insecurity 101. That's a dude who's putting up a fake wall because he's insecure. A really confident dude looks you right in the eyes and owns what he's feeling. Nervousness and all, fear and all. And if he's not nervous, he owns that too. You know, it's just like, hey, I feel really good right now. But the point is, is there's no repression of emotion. There's this sense of feeling on his body. So I want to present this idea and I want you to go think about it. And this week's homework assignment is that I want to give you is to go out and look for men in feeling. Look for men that are communicating from feeling, talking from feeling. Go to YouTube videos or uh, go out and watch guys out talking and socializing. Look at your buddies. Look at guys that are truly confident. Um, maybe there's celebrities out there that you see that are truly confident. Speakers that are truly confident that speak in a in a fluid, uh, flowing kind of pattern where they're relaxed in their body and they, they don't have trouble getting embarrassed. If you look at guys like uh, Russell Brand, he's a great example of this. Or there was that late night speaker, um, the Scottish guy. Somebody put it in the comments or we'll have it written in the video somewhere, but that Scottish guy who had that late night TV show that was also, that he was always flirting with women. You can look up YouTube videos of him and you can just see one woman after another and how he plays with emotion and feeling. And I just want you to watch it and notice what you see. Notice how they handle tension, how they handle sexual tension, how they own their turn on, how they play with embarrassment, how they play with nervousness, and how they have fun with it. And that is powerful. Um, another good example, Hank Moody. Check out Californication if you haven't seen it. And again, get down to the comments, report what you see, let us know, and, uh, and we'll go from there. And then maybe we can talk a little bit more and get a little deeper in this topic because this is the direction Fearless is going because it's so powerful. So hopefully you like this video. Put those comments down in the comments. Like the video because it helps with the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Let's grow this channel, get more good content. Maybe we can get you more coaches on here speaking. And remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.